happy right now. No, I'm not. I'm not happy. And um, you want to know why? No, you don't. Well, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you anyway, because uh, you're about to get an earful. I'm really, I'm really disappointed that somebody had to, uh, somebody had to go and get sick, like, like a little, uh, like a little slut. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Slut. Cause only, only sluts get sick. You didn't know that? Well, now you do. Because I told you, right here, know everything. Everything. That was a very, very slutty thing of you to do, to go, as soon as Christmas break starts, hmm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and, uh, get strep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, uh, get herpes on my throat. You're, you're a bastard. And a little, a little advice from, uh, me to you on, uh, how not to get sick? You should probably stop sucking so much dick. Yeah. Lay off the cock in the mouth for a while. Please. Ooh, that was, that was naughty of me to say. Don't you just feel naughty? Yeah, I'm trying to think of ways to like help you not feel bad. That doesn't make any sense. I'm trying to think of ways to help you What the fuck am I trying to say? I'm trying to think of ways to help you, like, recuperate more comfortably. Yes, that's exactly it. That sounds smart. Good job, Abby. Coloring books. Chicken noodle soup. A lot of blankets. And tea. Those four things usually... usually cure me... right up. So... I, uh, recorded a little bit um, of me being a smartass talking about why you should drink tea and come to find out that I really had no particular reason. I couldn't think of anything clever or, uh, or, uh, intelligent to say that tea, like, has some special magical scientific ingredient that makes you mm, stop being a slut. But what did happen is after I got through trying to be a jerk to you and make you feel stupid, which is a which is a regular regular hobby of mine, I spilt the tea all over my keyboard. So I will spare you the smart acidness because I'm just going to say uh, Karma One Abby Nun. So there you go. You know, one thing that I have found to be very useful in times like these um, is the natural, spiritual, healing power of song. And since I know you so well, I figured I'd pick some uh, music that I know you will love. Um, and they are one of my personal favorites as well. Um, the Carpenters. So here you are. Enjoy. Said enjoy. <laughs> I said fucking enjoy. Talking to myself and feeling old Sometimes I like to quit Nothing ever seems to fit Hanging around Nothing to do but frown Rainy days and Mondays always get me down That was fucking lame Say, get better. Get better. We're friends again.
I'll tell you why I did so badly on this video is because I'm at my parents' house and um, it doesn't work because um, I can't go full out with my creativity with my parents stifling it with their evil or just their weirdness like like here here's an example stuff like stuff like this happens no we're not going to stay the shotgun and shoot him in the head stupid no i don't she's 65 years old yeah now she got a broke collarbone yeah she fell out of a tree stand <laughs> what You know, porno? Porno? Yeah. No. Because I look at so much porn. That doesn't matter. Yeah. I don't... I don't really know either. So... What can you say? Walking around Some kind of lonely cloud Rainy days and Mondays always Yeah.